Losing weight is often a long journey. And let's be honest, you can sometimes feel discouraged or guilty. It's important to consider this as a long-term process that needs learning new ways of doing and thinking. And that's because negative thoughts can be your worst enemy on your weight loss journey, undermining you as you take steps towards your goals. Ups and downs are a natural part of your progress, but the difference that will give you success this time is learning how to deal with your thoughts, reframing your mindset often along the way as you refocus following any challenges or disappointments. Let's tackle this together. Let's look at one type of reasoning that is unhelpful for your weight loss. My self-worth is strongly linked to my weight and shape. Today's society worships thinness as one of the symbols of beauty. If we consider that beauty is one of the main cultural values, we can expect that our self-concept and self-worth are strongly influenced by our physical appearance. The following metaphor is the best way that we can explain how to move away from such unhelpful and frankly inaccurate thoughts. Imagine your house. I encourage you to visualise it now. Of course, everyone likes to have a beautiful and very neat house. However, the value of your house goes far beyond that. The value of your house is not only associated with its structure, its size, its appearance, but it also has to do with the bond you have with it, the feelings it gives you when you arrive home after a long day, the potential it has to make you feel safe. That is the difference between a house and what we call home. Our body is our home. Sometimes, yes, we might want to change the way our house looks. We can choose different curtains, we can change the colour of the walls, or we can even do major renovations. However, it is essential that we accept that there are things that also we cannot change, such as the shape of our house, the orientation or our neighbours, It's not about the house being perfect, but the most important thing is that even if the house is imperfect, we can make it feel like home. We encourage you to think like this to yourself. What makes you, your body and mind, what makes your body and mind feel like home? your talents, your characteristics, your traits. What makes you? What do you value in yourself that makes you a true home, not just a house? Your value as a person and your weight are completely unrelated, even if it doesn't feel like that so often in today's society. What makes you, you? What do you value in yourself that makes you a true home, not just a house? Use this visualization trick as often as you need to, to remind yourself and to work to disentangle your worth, what you value in yourself, away from your body shape and size. 